Welcome back. This is your July 2024 edition of What's New in Asana, and we're gonna be talking about a lot of new AI features today. We'll be starting by looking at smart projects, smart goals, and smart summaries on portfolios, as well as a non-related but equally exciting feature. As you may have noticed, Asana has been investing heavily in artificial intelligence as of late, and so far it's been hit after hit after hit, and so I can't wait to demo these new features for you today. But if you're new here, my name is Marky e. Murray. I'm the CEO at Surface and an Asana partner, and I make videos like this every single week to help you get the most out of your Asana investment. Now, before we start, I just wanna ask you, if you're getting value from these videos and you've been here for a little bit, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. But now, let's get into the demo. Now, with the first new feature here, it is Smart Projects. It's been out for a little bit, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So I'm gonna go and create a blank project, and we're gonna start by just typing in some text, and it's gonna start prompting us. Now, as you can see here, there's a little checkbox where you can ask Asana to recommend project suggestions using AI or not. So I'm gonna make sure that that is on. And in this case, I'm just gonna type in campaign launch. 2024 and you can see our little AI prompt popped up right here where it says set up project with AI or Asana intelligence in this case. So we're going to set that up and it's going to think and it says to effectively plan, execute and monitor all activities related to the 2024 marketing campaign to ensure its successful launch and performance. So as you can see it's now populating our different sections. It's going to populate some tasks for us maybe and then it's also going to give us some options for custom fields. Okay so we have a section for strategy and planning, creative development, marketing, execution, performance tracking, and so on. And so this is actually your prompt right here. So it's how do you want to use this project? What's nice about this is you can actually modify this to change certain characteristics of the project. So to effectively plan, execute, and monitor all activities related to the 2024, let's say, I don't know if this will actually do it, iPhone marketing launch. Maybe there's some copyright stuff there. We can't actually do that. But let's see if it considers that very specific detail that I added in there. Now, if we don't like the prompt that it put out, we can obviously retry it and it will spit something else out for us. So now let's go in, let's let's retry that and see if it considers that little addition that I made. It's thinking, outlining the primary workflows that are also being set up in the background. Let's see what it actually comes back with now. There we go. And we can't see anything related to iPhone just yet yet and maybe that's for a specific reason well, let's go in and take a look and see what it looks like so let's go and create that project and it's going to start populating our project here for us so we've got our planning and strategy stage creative development media planning and buying execution and monitoring and performance analysis so i'm assuming we are done populating yes we are all right so let's go in and start adding some tasks task one task two task three task four let's put in an assignee let's put in a due date and let's see it's given us some custom fields. So under the campaign side here, it's given us the different stages that we're at for the campaign. So this is planning in this case and execution, I guess, if we had a task down here, task five, we could set this as execution. So it didn't give us custom fields for every single section, but it's just given us the high level stages here. Now the budget, let's just open this up a little bit, budget allocation. So we've got, you know, $5,000 to go towards task one. Interesting that even though it's a budget, it didn't give us the dollar amount. So I'd probably want to go in and edit that field so that we're actually changing this to a, a dollar amount right there. Cause again, we're talking about money here. Risk level, I would say maybe not risk level, maybe, maybe not AI. I would say this is more like a, a high priority thing. So this would be priority level maybe versus risk in this case. And let's see approval status. So yeah, great. We've got whether it's approved or not. Let's see if it gave us any rules here. No rules, but it gave us the sections and then it gave us all of these different fields. So we've got approval status again and then channel. So what channel this is for. And as you can see, it didn't give us anything related to iPhone. But if I had created another prompt, it likely would have changed the workflow, changed the order, changed the different custom fields as well. But play around with it. Let me know after you've played around with it what you think. Leave a comment down below and let me know what AI spit out for you. The next one we're going to go to here are our smart goals. So let's just close this out really quickly. I'm going to go to our goals module right here and we're going to start creating some goals. And so I'm going to add a goal and this one's going to be create a new Spanish language YouTube. I'm going to spell it out actually. YouTube channel. There we go. It's going to be assigned to me. It's going to be Q1 of FY 2025. I'm not going to add any members to it. But let's just go and save that goal. So there we go. We've got it in there. There's no other information. There's no description yet. There's no status updates. Let's add a couple sub goals here. So create new channel. I mean, I guess this goal would be launch new channel.
channel. So I'm gonna create this new channel. Uh, let's go in there. Yep, we'll just set some random stuff. So I've got some, some sub goals there. There we go. And I'll create another one. There we go. Um, this one's going to be trend or hire a Spanish translator. There we go. And we're gonna create that one there as well. So now we've given it some information. Let's go back up to our top level goal right here and see what AI will do for us. And so as you can see, it says improve your goal with the sauna intelligence. So let's see what the improvements are and see what it spits out for us based on the information we've given it so far. There we go. So suggestions tailored to your goal. So that's really interesting. Okay, it's given me a description in Spanish. I didn't ask for that. And uh, I clearly don't speak Spanish, but add a definition of success to your description to make it measurable. That's interesting. I don't know what that says. Anyone who is Spanish speaking, can you please translate that for me in the comments? It'd be great. And then the second one is also Spanish. Okay, let's not do that. Let's change this goal and let's say just create new YouTube channel for how to um, fix cars. And then this one right here, let's just go in and just delete that goal so that it doesn't get confused. All right, let's try this again. So we're gonna go in and we're going to dismiss what it had there. All right, let's go see improvements. Let's see what it says this time. Hopefully it's in English for us. There we go, that's better. And a language I can understand. And so it's given us a few options as you can see here. So definition of success for this goal, achieve launch a YouTube video and publish at least 10 videos on car repair, gain a thousand subscribers, which is what you need to be monetized on the YouTube channel, uh, reach 10,000 total views by March. March 31st, 2025, great. Partial launch the YouTube channel. So I think what it's doing here, obviously this is a definition of done, but also these are great sub goals, right? So we can work towards getting a thousand subscribers. How do we do that? We need a marketing campaign. We need to think about how we engage people, asking them to subscribe to the channel is great, right? So things like that. So let's see, it's given us two other options here. Launching YouTube channel focused on car repair, tutorials matters as it will establish our brand as an authority in the automotive repair industry, provide valuable, okay, not as helpful, just see here. Oh, here we go, expand digital presence and customer education initiatives, strengthen our company online presence and provide valuable resources. That's great. So here we have a, a launch for the campaign. So we can add this to the parent goal and now we have a prompt that allows us to get more specific on how we're going to actually achieve our goal and it's giving us a recommendation for what a sub goal could be all right so there it is again try it out let me know what you find out when you are testing this in your own asana instance as many of you already know i run a consulting company called surface which is a proud asana partner we specialize in a variety of asana services including training and workflow optimization whether you're in the process of introducing your team to asana because you're transitioning over from another tool or you're already using asana but feel like you're not quite getting the most of its potential Potential. We're here to help bridge that gap. Our training is tailored to fit your team's size, workflows, and skill levels so that you can get the most out of your Asana investment. Head over to surface.com for more information or book a connect call using the link in the description. Now we're going to go over to our third new update, which is our smart summaries and portfolios. All right, so I'm going to go into my portfolios here and I'm going to go into the YouTube demo portfolio here and we're going to go into our progress. Now with the portfolio summary, when this is toggled on, you know, weekly, it will automatically provide you a summary and email that to you and you're notified when you get that summary. But in this case, when we go and we update our status like so, okay, we can choose to draft this status update with Asana AI. All right. So here we have status that we can set like so, and we can put in, you know, the, the projects within the portfolio we want to collect on. And then we can decide on which format we now want to receive our status update in. So if we want a status report, we want an executive summary, let's go executive summary here and now it's going to take all set information and it's going to draft the update based on the information that we gave it now this is not a summary the summary would come to you in your email and because at the time of this video recording we hadn't toggled on that little toggle switch there and so it takes a little bit to populate information but you would essentially get an email as well as a notification in asana of what happened over the last couple of weeks within your portfolio itself and so it's a really cool tool go and try it out if you haven't turned on that little toggle in your portfolio yet, go and turn on the toggle switch because it's going to start populating information after you turn it on. There we go. And so rather than a summary, it gave us the actual status update. But again, we're able to select which format we wanted to see that status update in. And so it gave us the problem statement here. Our business lacks an online presence to connect with target audiences. This makes it challenging to increase our brand awareness, engaging customers. And so here's our progress on the solution. Here's what we've done over the last little bit. Okay. And so it's given us 
a really, really good summary. We're actually gonna go ahead and post that summary. And that's gonna take us into our next new feature, which is not an AI feature. It's actually something that a lot of executives have been asking for for a very long time. So the use case here is if you have a busy executive who's not in Asana, is not in the weeds, doesn't need to be looking at the individual status updates, isn't combing through the Asana inbox. They just wanna see a snapshot of exactly what's happening. And so we're gonna be looking at the PDF export for your portfolio updates. And so, all right, and so once we are in our portfolio, we can just navigate up to the, the area up, up here and you're gonna see you can export. And now you can see there's a PDF summary option that it's going to give us. So it's gonna populate all the relevant information from this portfolio. And rather than it just being a print to PDF where you see the margins and the print lines and the dates and everything, it formats it really nicely. And there's some options here for you to customize the reporting. So you can put it into portrait or you can put it into landscape. It's a little bit slow, but it's okay. If you can wait like two seconds, it will give you the information you need, okay? So we can have it to show the status, okay? Or not show the status and it will just repopulate, okay? So obviously I'm gonna have it to show status and then we can have it include notes. So right here below the next steps is where it's going to include notes. So it says write something about this portfolio, something about this portfolio. Once I'm done writing, it's going to refresh. Again, you gotta wait a little second and it's gonna show you in the notes something about this portfolio. There we go. And now items in the portfolio, we can show within these items here. If we wanna show the status, if we want to show the details, which of course we do, we can show the owner of it, okay, as well. And then we can have the different fields populate as well. There's also some advanced settings if you just wanna format it a little bit differently. If you wanna show row number and, and page number, we can take things like, like that off, like so, populate it again, there we go. And our page number is now removed. And then we can download said PDF. Now I'm gonna actually go out and I'm gonna open up that PDF here quickly for us. There we go, and there is our PDF now. And here we have our, our YouTube demo PDF. We've got all the relevant information here. It's laid out really cleanly. We can see when it was exported. We've got a little logo there. And now we can simply take this PDF and email it to the respective executive or a member of leadership. So hope you found this helpful. Please help me get these videos out to people like you who are interested in these types of features. Um, there's gonna be so much more on the AI platform coming out this year. You're gonna wanna stay in the know. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Make sure you like this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video update. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.